Hey there, I haven't been here in a while and I'm sorry. I just tried to record this a minute ago, or less, and um, all of a sudden this pop-up came up on my screen and said there was no audio, so I stopped it and played it back and it was fine, so I don't know why it said that. Anyway, um, looks like it's been a couple of weeks according to the webcam. Maybe I did something in the car, I don't remember. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd stop in, say hello, um, keep you posted on what's going on in my life. Um, I think I told you that I, I couldn't take the one class uh, for my new job because uh, HR told me that it started at 10 and when I got there it had started at 9 and so they made me reschedule. So that's next week, that's two days, two full days, but... If it's anything like any of the class, all the classes I've had so far, it won't be two full days. I went to one tonight. It was supposed to be 4.30 to 10.30. And um, we were out by 7.15, something like that. Um, and every class I've taken for this job has been like that. This was first aid and CPR. And thank God I have taken it every time I needed renewed um, for the past 30 years because I don't think that um, this instructor should actually be teaching it um, because she just said we're gonna do this really fast and I'm gonna teach to the test which to me is not the way it should be you should teach the the material you shouldn't just teach to the test but I guess we had a whole lot of uh, school systems doing that now, too. Right? Okay, let's don't open that can of worms. Anyway, <clears throat> um, I don't want to talk too long because it's nearly midnight and my clock will chime 12 times at midnight. So I don't want to go too long for that. But, okay, on the house. Well, hello there. Did you just wake up? You want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Anyway, um, are you coming? You're going to burp on me, huh? Come here. Um, the situation with the house. Um, we were supposed to close by the 29th of March, which will be in three days. What's that, Friday? Um, that's not going to happen. They uh, officially extended the contract through the end of April, April 28th. Uh, because apparently HUD didn't follow some of their own rules when they foreclosed on the previous owners. I don't know if I told you guys that or not, but I think I may have told you that it could be extended. Um, so at this point it is officially extended. So I can't really do anything yet. Um, I like to be able to get, you know, some contractors in there um, looking at some stuff and giving me some quotes um, and I can I can do a little bit of it I've got a couple of calls to make tomorrow and you farted you farty dog anyway um, but like it needs graded around the house so um, and then that guy will do the driveway extension and the turnaround area and so I can't really I can't really do any kind of measurement stuff out there to show him where I want that. So, I mean, I don't know how accurate his quote will be. But I'm going to give him a call tomorrow anyway and see if, if he even wants to go on the property before I own it. And, you know, take a look and see if he can estimate anything. But, um, then, uh-oh. <laughs> running out of time um, and when I when I moved here I knew that I would be putting most of my stuff in storage because I have this room and um, so I didn't put anything upholstered in storage because of you know the possibility of um, pests so I got rid of everything that I had well fortunately my sister knows someone who is getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff in their house. Um, and because she moved into her 
parents' house because they're in assisted living now. And apparently she either bought new furniture or liked what her parents had or something. I don't know. But I'm getting, well, so far what I'm getting is um, a leather uh, living room set. It's sofa love seat and recliner um, for $250. And it's like new. Um, and then she just sent my sister some pictures of the um, dining room set and I, um, I already have that but I wanted to buy new stuff for the new house so i um, probably going to buy that stuff because I really like it. Um, it's an oak pedestal table with bow back chairs um, and, she, and there's a hutch that goes with that so I'm going to get that. Um, there's some other stuff. There's like another sofa and a chair and another, um, they had a little, um, breakfast area in the, in the kitchen, eat-in kitchen area. So there's another table and chairs there. And she said if I would take everything, she'd even throw in the stove and refrigerator. So what's really awesome is that, you know, I had budgeted to buy brand new stove and refrigerator, but if I can buy all of this stuff, for less than I was going to spend on a new stove and refrigerator, that's like, helps my budget for my rehab a lot. So that's kind of exciting. So I was talking to my sister because my niece and her boyfriend are moving into a bigger apartment and um, I don't even think they have any dining room furniture or any kind of table and chairs. So that's why I was like, oh, I could take it all and then, you know, whatever... I what I don't want, well, I don't want to sound like I'm like pawning off of junk to my niece, but I'd give her. So it's not like I'd say, you have to pay for this much. So she, you know, I don't know how to explain what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that my niece could make out, you know, okay on this stuff and I could get the stuff that I want and still come in under budget. So that's pretty exciting stuff. So, yeah, um, I think that's pretty much all I got right now. Uh, I don't know. My dog wants to go outside. I don't want to let him out. It's nearly midnight, and he'll bark, you know, he'll bark one time to come in, and then the neighbor will go off about it. So, um, yeah, I don't really want to let him out. And he doesn't need to go to the bathroom. He just wants a T-R-E-A-T. -E and if I say that word, he'll be like, oh, yeah. So, anyway, okay, eight minutes. I'm out of here. Off to Netflix to watch something on there. See y'all later. Bye.